All right, guys, this week we're going to talk about angular forces in the downswing. It's a confusing topic, but I'm here to help you create more speed. All right, guys, so tour players make speed look effortless, and I'm going to help you do the same exact thing. So we have to understand the concept of angular forces and how they're applied to the handle in order to start putting ourselves in position to create the maximum amount of speed with minimal effort, okay? You hear a lot of times coaches talking about swing slow to swing fast, okay? We are going to get into that topic. We're gonna, we're gonna dig deep into it, how it works, how to create all the speed that you possibly can through impact. But first, if you enjoy my videos, please like, comment, and subscribe down below. It really helps me build the channel and I greatly appreciate all the support. So angular forces are something tour players apply so well to the handle to create that extra speed, whereas amateurs struggle with this concept really hard. So if I'm looking at the forces that are applied to the handle, okay, tour players are getting in here and getting a whip around their body through impact, whereas an amateur golfer is feeling like they are pushing the handle all the way down and just throwing everything out with their hands. If you really want to be in a position where you're getting that whipping motion through impact, you need to learn how to store everything. So that gets into the whole swing slow early and create angles and then swing fast and release through impact to create the maximum speed. When we get to the top of the backswing, we want to feel that the first thing we are doing is rotating our body and leaving the angles that we've created stored. There's a lot of different ways to create those angles and I'll talk about them and how to release them in a little while. But we want to feel like those angles are staying stored in transition. If we can store those angles, we can use our body. So the first movement that we're going to see out of players is our hands are going to be moving away from our body in transition. Okay? Then we're going to put a downward force with our body pushing our arm down in transition. Now, if we understand that we have to imply a force here to get the club head to do what we want, now's where the up and left that you see tour players do so well starts coming into play. From here, I start feeling like my body is pushing up and left. So that's pushing out of the lead side I talk about so much. That's what we're getting into with that movement. So once we're pushing up and around the corner, the handle is going to start moving up and left. So a lot of times you hear the topic moving the hands up and left through impact. We're simply putting a force on the handle to keep the club head from just slamming into the ground. If we put that force up and left, it will actually start springing it more out to the golf ball through impact and give you a position where you can hit a draw, straight shot, or fade depending on whatever pattern you have and how your rotation works. But when this is happening, we are starting to release all those angles that we've stored up in the impact. Boom. Now, it gets thrown by my body. It gets sprung around my body, and it really creates a big whip through impact, which is going to create more speed. Now, go slow to go fast. Why is that important? If I get in here and I try and create speed early, I start throwing that angle out in transition. Once those angles are gone, you're not going to get them back. But that's why amateurs don't have speed. They're just using linear speed and not creating any angular forces into impact. So understanding how we can hold these angles is critical. Now there's multiple ways to do it. We can get in here and get a big wrist set with a lot of radial deviation in our wrist and some extension, work it down into impact and really throw that angle into impact. There's a lot of timing there. But we can get the same whip from our body if we get in here and start to flex out that lead wrist and go into radial and rotate hard, I can get that same whip around my body to create the speed that I'm really looking to make every time. Now those are two different ways to create the geometry that we are looking for in the impact and then releasing to get that whip. So I hope this video helps you guys play better golf. If you can really learn how to hold all those angles into impact and when to release them late, you will start creating more speed. I know this is a confusing topic for a lot of golfers, 
I hope this video helped clear that all up for you. Thanks guys, and let's see you next week. Hey guys, if you like this video, hit like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. I come out with new content every Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thanks a lot, guys.